Hey, yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your man Handy from On The Line With. We're on episode 78 of Card Chats. We got a very special guest today coming on. All I'm going to say is duck down. And I'm sure you guys know the rest. I, know, I bet y'all know who's about to come on, so I'm just waiting for him to jump in. We'll get together and chop it up. Ray, what's going on? Bobby J, what's going on? Shout out to my guys in Nigeria. Well, no, I'm finally TV. Peace, brother. Rusty Jux is in the building. My oh, man. What up? What up? Yo, man, peace, bro. How you doing? Peace. I'm doing great, man. What's going on with you? I'm out here, man. I'm just up north, not too far from you right now. I'm just in Ottawa. Okay. So, what's going no on, around, bro? Let everybody know what's up. Let them know who it is. They're already aware of who it is, but let you tell them like, how, how you got it. What up, what up? It's Rusty Jux, the king of the crown. World renowned. You ain't got to ask around. Word up. Word up. So yo, I know I know the last two times we were supposed to do this kind of got missed on some bullshit and some other matters, but I'm glad that you could uh, take me up on my offer and come back on. I really appreciate you coming on, bro. No doubt, man. Like I, I I've bro. shown you, I've shown you, given you the flowers that that I told you I grew up on the music, especially around the time with like back in the day with Sean P and all that. So having you on the show is an honor. So honestly, again, thank you for coming on, my G. I really appreciate it. Nope. Doubt, man. Good looking. So yeah, let's 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 just start off. Jump. Let's take it back to like when you started. What what brought what brought music to the forefront for you? Music was just all around me. You know what I mean? I just fell in love with hip hop, man. I love music. Period. Like I listen to R and B, you know, jazz, all type of shit. You know what I mean? I just fell in love with hip hop early, and um, you know what I mean? I never looked back. I feel you. And and what what year did you officially start? Like, would you say you officially started putting out records to to chase the dream that you're following now? Well, I, I've been recording since I was um, I don't know fourteen. I've been rhyming since I was twelve. I was recording since since I was like fourteen, and um, I think I put my first first single out like ninety six, ninety seven. You know what I'm saying? And then um, the first time I was featured. Shit on the official album was ninety eight was on Magnum Force album. Help the scout the second album. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, that's when I think that's when all the fans and you know what I mean. I started to build my shit from then. Word. And, and and when you were when you were working with Sean P back then, like what what was that feeling when they first like acknowledged that you that you had that talent? Because you know, like Sean was very honest with people, man. Like if he fucked with you, he fucked with you. But if he didn't, he would tell you. Yeah, I said that in the song. <laughs> See, I know. And I, said like, it, I said he let it be known if he ain't fuck with you. And if he did, you was blessed to have Ruck with you. You know what I mean? I said that exact same thing. Yeah, man. So um, it, it was it was like a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a fan of boot camp way before I met them. You know what I mean? So when I got there, it was just like I was learning from the greats. You know what I mean? I was I was basically in boot camp training. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I see my brother Ren on there. Salute, Ren. Yep. Millionaire Dave, my brother. Everyone joining in, man. I really appreciate everyone jumping in and checking this conversation. I'm having with Rusty Jokes right now, man. And uh, yeah. any artists that are watching this, if you're following me and you want to get an interview, just hit me up anytime. We can lock that in. And uh, yeah, follow my man's here if you need Hot 16, bro. So let's get back into this conversation. Uh, so. Word. What was your first official project when you released it? Was there a lot of features from from Sean and like Held the Skelter or or Boot Camp? Oh, my first album? Yeah. Nah. My first album, Sean didn't appear on that. He got on my. He was on my second yeah. one, and yeah. he he told me he did that deliberately, you know, to let everybody know so they don't have to be like, yo, um, you know, I I I 
I, my shit was blowing because Sean was on it. You know what I mean? He gave me the stamp. They, they, the album was called Sean Price Presents Rusty Jukes Indestructible. You know what I mean? So it already lets you know he was the executive producer. Yeah. So it already lets you know he was behind me 100%. And he just let me do my thing on the first album. You know what I mean? Definitely. Word. And, and come to the second album, was, was the atmosphere different when you were recording around him or with him? Say it again. Like the atmosphere after the first album, like the one that he executive produced that you that you said, when you put out your second album with the more prominent like Sean P verses in it, was was the atmosphere different in the studio? Nah, I mean we I, he didn't record it with me. He no. um my second album my second album was was um the execution mm -hmm. fully produced by, by Marco Polo. You know what so, I mean? So we me and Marco recorded the whole album at his crib. You know, we recorded right there. I recorded in his lip in his uh his, he had a he had like a booth in his bedroom and shit. We knocked that whole shit out in there. And um I was at I was at home when Sean recorded his verse over there. You know what I mean? He just went to, to, to Marco Polo crib one day and laid his verses. He did a hook on one song and um and a verse on another one. Word. Word. And then so because when you read about it, like when people research who who you are, like by just like going to Google and stuff, it it, it put you under as Sean Sean Price's protege. Like, did, did, mm -hmm. how did that feel getting that like stamp of approval from other people, not just Sean, but when other people looked at you like that, like I, like, because you work, you you put in your own work hard as hell, bro. You don't man, it feels great, man. I mean, Sean P is one of the illest MCs on the motherfucking planet. One of the one of the best performers in the world. You know what I mean? So. Period. If, you know what I mean? How can I complain, man? That was that's my big bro. That was my big bro in real life. You know what I mean? Fuck the music, like you know what I mean. So, I'm to this day. I, to this day, opportunities come to me from you know what I mean from being Sean P. Protege. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm blessed, man. And you're still you're still putting it. You're still putting out gas all the time, bro. Constantly just all dropping the time. that. You know, I made, I made. About six, seven, uh, rest in peace, Sean P joints, man. Since he was gone, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pull out Word. a whole EP joint, a whole EP about just Sean P, bro. That's what exactly. happened. <laughs> and, and you're still, you're still cool with everybody else that was surrounding, that surrounded themselves with Sean, right? Yeah, of course. And, and you will never hear nothing about me with with anybody, man. I ain't. And, I'm the type of, you know, I, I fucks with everybody, man. Everybody get along with me. You know what I mean? If you see something that somebody beefing with me, it's them. It's definitely them. That's how it goes <laughs> you know on my end, bro. That's how it goes yeah. on my end, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. So me, you know, me and Boot Camp, that's, that's the family for life, man. We got um, we got a show coming up at uh, um, um, the, the Rock the Bells. You know what I mean? Like crazy. We got that shit coming up August 5th in um, Forest Hill Stadium. Word. You know what I'm saying? We got a new song. One of the songs that I'm working, that me and Rock was working on for our album. And um, Drew Drew was like, yo, we want to make this a boot camp song, like this one song. So everybody is on it. You know what I mean? It's the whole, it's eight of us. You know what I mean? The whole team. So, you know, we be on the lookout for that new yeah. shit. Absolutely. Because that new joint you just recently dropped, I think it was, uh, maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago, maybe, I think? Yeah. The chosen. I mean, I have so many joints, man. I, I don't know which one, but whatever okay. one, you know what I mean. It's that's that's Randy. my shit. The one with Randy. Oh, that's um, that's um. The chosen. The chosen. Yeah, that word animated video. Bro, the way you yeah you off that verse was just straight dirt, straight dirty, bro. It was straight Good dirty. Look at man. <laughs> I was playing that one all day yesterday. I was just like, God damn. <laughs> no doubt. So, oh, man, I appreciate what, it. For pro projects that you're working on, you're working on that whole like that track, the whole boot camp track. But uh, individual solo projects, do you have anything coming out soonish or anything yeah, well, on the way? Right now, I got a um, I got an EP that I'm working on with my man um, with my man Pre One. He's a producer out of out of Cali, and that whole the whole EP is crazy. We put out one single so far. We dropped that on the, the first of, the, of January, January first. It's called See You Win. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a very, very motivational, inspirational song. And um, we got a whole EP coming. But all my other projects that I got lined up is all group projects. You know what I mean? Like me and Rock, me and Rock got an album called Crownsville. This which is insane. You know what I mean? Like the fans don't even know they need this shit, man. 
I got another project with my man Skanks, the Rat Martyr, fully produced by UG from Cellar Dwellers, you know what I mean? Like, this shit is insane. Um, a female rapper, Regal, from out of uh, um, Minnesota. I got an a EP with her, like, just a whole bunch of projects, man. My man Black Silver from, from the West Coast, salute. Me and him got a project. Word up. You know what I mean? Just a whole bunch of joints. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to a lot of that. Cause, you know, you bring up the Minnesota, like, hip-hop scene, speaking of the female artists that you're talking about, but that Minnesota <laughs> hip-hop scene is actually very strong in the past, few, like, several years, man. I see a lot of dope artists coming out of Minnesota. Well, mm -hmm. Twin Cities, you know, Apple is that Minnesota. Oh, no, my bad. Am I, am I sitting right there right now? I might no, I might not be. But Minnesota does have a nice nice hip hop scene. Right, right. Right. So yep. are you are you because you're originally from, from uh BK, right? Exactly. And, and is that where you're at right now? You're in New York right now? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of work going out into this like New York artists and New York New York right now? You fucking with Say a lot again. of you fucking with a lot of the newer New York artists that are out in this area right now? Well hell yeah. Yeah, man, hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Especially, especially right now. I, I, well, like, right now, I'm listening to a lot of female rappers, man. A lot of dope female rappers. Um, Scarlett, um, going crazy. Especially Scarlett, man. Woo. Like that shit is that shit is. Yo, her story. I I, I almost cried um, listening to the you know the three joints that she got pinned on her, her shit, man. Like that's serious, man. I love music from the heart. I love the 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 originality. You know what I mean? So. I'm very proud of her, man, and I wish her nothing but the best, man. Straight up, man. She's got a very powerful message in those like those clips that you're talking about. I peeped mm -hmm. those too before before I went to check out the fully finished uh This is New York joint. Mm -hmm. Like there's just it's powerful story. Just you know, like you said, it's a very emotional story too, man. Yeah. And real shit. Who are some of the other female hip hop artists out there right now that that some people might be missing. It's, 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 uh, it's a lot of them, man. Y'all got, got to check out Ty Phoenix. You know what I mean? She's dope, man. I got a single with, I got a single with her called Staying On It. Shit is crazy, man. You got to check out You got to check out Big Boo. She, she, she's a, a young artist and shit. I, got a, I did a joint with her a few years ago. Uh, you got to fuck with Star. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know who Star is, man. Like... It just go on and on, man. It's a lot of female rappers that's ill right now. Definitely. And when you uh, started getting like seeing more into the game, like when you were first starting and coming up, what what do you find some of the hardest lessons to learn around it was? Because I mean, it's not always a simple, not always a simple way to go about the game, like people like to think of. Call me. Somebody said Fever Moore in the comments. I'm like, yeah, Fever Moore is dope too. Word and, and Honey De Niro. But go ahead, go ahead. What are you say? So like when you first started uh, putting out your albums and getting the feel for like how the industry and how the scene works and things like that. What what were some of the lessons you found that you learned the the, the fastest or the hardest? Um, I just you know, I I just learned um. How to how to uh, how to handle my, the business side of this shit? You know what I'm saying? Instead of just being an artist, you know, you got to be right now. You got to be almost everything. You know what I'm saying? I never, I, I don't have a manager. You know what I mean? I didn't have a manager since like before I started. You know what I mean? My original manager was the one that introduced me to Sean P. But after that, I've been you know doing everything myself. So you know what I mean? It's um, just learn how to just promote yourself, invest in yourself, and and you know what I mean. Yeah, the marketing and everything behind it yeah so, so up so so as of right now you're just completely independent yeah yeah i've always been always i think yeah i think that's how i think that's how a lot of people wanted to be when they started like back in that era like when everyone in that era was starting out a lot of people wanted to be independent but like a lot of people just didn't know the way around it at first and now you see, like, so many more people are just dropping the labels they're in and just rather pay them out and just know that they got the juice to get what they got to get on their own, so. Right. right. I'm, I'm happy with how everything is, like, right now. I'm good. You know what I mean? I put, out, I put out music when I want to. I don't have to answer to nothing. I just do what I want to do and how I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And whenever time I feel like doing it. So I'm just, I'm blessed to be here, and I'm blessed to have a fucking 
a fan base that been riding with me for these 20 years. You know what I mean? I got about, I got 20 albums out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And about, I think four of them, four or five of them is on Duck Down. You know what I mean? All the other ones are just independent shit or shit I put out myself. So, and word. Mega Spin says, Jeff's is always staying consistent. That's a fact. I say that myself. Yeah. Uh, Mega Spins. Uh, every Man, it's all your people in here, bro. I ain't got a fan base like yeah, that. Yeah, I see. I'm, not, I'm, looking, I'm, looking, at, I'm looking at it. I'm screaming all your people, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, shout out Duck Down. That's what I was saying at the beginning. I was like, I didn't tell anybody right away who was coming on the show. I just said, I'm like, all I'm going to say is Duck Down. And y'all, if you've been following what I've been posting, you know who's coming on. So, right. But with that being said, like, you just dropped that, uh, you dropped an animation video for that, the Chosen track, right? Mm hmm. Do you have an actual visual coming out for that, or you think you're just gonna keep it at? No, nah, I think we, we yeah, we just gonna keep it as the the um. But we can we got some more shit we getting ready to work on, man. We just talked about it, so you know I'm gonna put another single out, and I'll definitely shoot one for that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And you have another project with Marco Polo coming out? I thought I saw or or something that you're working on. I thought no. Nah, not with Marco, not yet, man. Nah, we talked we talked about it years ago and shit, but you know we never did it, but. Yeah, man. Yo, shout out to Marco. I heard, I heard from another interviewer that I just did an interview with, uh, what it was like yesterday or the day before, and they said that Marco and Torrey working on a double barrel part two. So, you know what I mean? I'm definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, man, Marco's definitely another OG in this game, man, that people, that, that I, I, I don't hear him brought up enough when he should be. Like, I mean, it depends on the, the people and what part of the scene you're talking to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're talking to someone in New York, he all, he's definitely getting brought up. But, like, mm -hmm. other artists, like, and, like, the new generation or something, if I was to bring them up, they look at me like, I'm like, like who am I talking about? And I'm like, oh, man, don't piss me off. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's what a lot of people, man, because, you know, everybody, you got to understand, everybody don't listen to the, the underground scene like that. They on the mainstream shit. So if they don't, if they don't hear it on the radio or see the videos on, the, you know, whatever platforms they watch, then they don't know. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's like. It's, a, it's you know, it's a lot of big artists that be touring and doing all type of shit that people would be like, who? Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I know you just got through a a, a mini tour, like, uh, throughout uh, Canada, too, right? You were just in Montreal a few weeks back with Illa G. Right. Well, yeah. Who else was on the car? I out there with my brothers, Illa G, yeah. Royal Flush. Shout out to both of them, man. Word. We had a good time, man. We was in, uh, we was in Belleville. We was in Mon we was in Montreal, then Belleville, then Toronto. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, all three of the shows was dope, man. Shout out to um to Hella Trees and DJ Chino, Dov. Word. I heard that. I heard the Montreal show was dope, man. Cause that's that's my hometown. Yeah. That's where I'm originally from, and I know that Montreal has a lot of love for NY artists for sure, just like Toronto does. But Montreal every really, time, really. Every time. Every time I come to every time I come to Canada, man, it's always dope. And I've been to a lot of parts, like Halifax, uh, Vancouver, Ottawa. Every, I've been all over there, and every time it's always crazy, man. When's the last time you were over here, where I'm at in Ottawa, when we were in Ottawa, you remember when the last time that was? Probably 2013, I think. 2013 or some shit like that. Any artists you know out here specifically that that you mess with, like? I know there's a few of my I mean, I, 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 I'm the I'm the killer collab king, man. I I do songs with artists all over the world, man. Um fuck. Um matter of fact, uh who who was it I just worked with from Canada, man? Um I just did a video in a in a single with with uh Oh, shit, man. I'm trying to think of the fucking name, man. I, well you you run through my um my shit on Yeah, no, absolutely. Because I know a few of the people that I've interviewed, rappers. Word. people I speak with that I that I interview and I have on my other shows and stuff too. Like uh, I have someone he goes by Mo Dirt. He did a track with him a few years back. He's from he's from Vancouver. Uh, I know some of my uh, a homie of mine out in Vermont. He did a track, well, a hook for a track on the Bourbon Legends joint. Mm hmm. Uh, that was that was his fire. That track was fire. That was a dope ass track. Good look. Yeah, yeah, man. Like you definitely are definitely a king of collabs. Like I mean, if if I know like consistent underground artists who are out there getting features from names that people know, the, half the time I'll see you on one of their mixtapes or one of their yeah. EPs. So you know, like, yeah. so it's always good to see because you know I haven't like 
I used to follow the Sean Price era like crazy. So that's where I was first familiar with you from and, and uh -huh. continued on. Then I kind of fell out of the scene for a while, but then I started watching mixtapes that were coming out and I kept seeing you pop up over and over and again. And I was like, dang, I I'm so glad this man is still doing it. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, I can't stop. Word. Word up, man. So, my bad. I'm just trying to read this question. Yeah, yeah. Snow Dunes collab is epic. That's true. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, to yeah. No, I got a yeah. Me, me Snow Goons, and Nine. Me and Nine got a whole project with them. Man, it's fucking sick. Word. Crazy. Oh yeah, that, that's another project I forgot to uh, mention. I got I got a lot of joints, man. Me and Nine got we got seven joints. Solid joints. The whole the album, the EP is called Duos. So you know all the every title, every song is is um titled after is 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 it's titled after one of the you know illest uh hip hop groups. You know what I mean? We got a we got um a song called Meth and Red, um uh, a song called Kid and Play. Oh, you know what I mean? Like we, we got it. Yeah, through the whole album, it's and and everything is to that type of theme. Like you know what I mean? That was all nines I did, man. He came up with the whole concept, and I just rolled with it. That's smart, man. Yeah. That's concept i'm looking forward to that one yeah man and for more i know that you're also you're also like constantly on road getting shows done too so you mm -hmm. have any plans on coming back to canada anytime soon um not 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 as of yet you know what i mean nobody hit me up for something right now i just got um uh, my next shows is san diego and then the uh rock the bells like i was telling you but um yeah, you know, we all, I'm always, um, you know, lining shit up, man. So I'll be back out there soon. Yeah, definitely, bro. Because I, I, I miss that show. I want, I tried to get out there for that, but like I, like I was taking care of my mod dudes and all that. So I couldn't make it out to Montreal at that time. But I was pissed that I missed that show. Yeah, 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 man. It was, it was definitely dope, man. That would have been good if you'd have came out. No, I, you know, it would have been more of a sit-down interview rather than this over the live shit. But, I, but I'm sure I'll catch you sooner or later because I don't feel like you're stopping anytime soon. So nah, I, I got I got too many albums on the way, man. So I'm I'm back out there. Yeah. Hell yeah. And so, so speaking of like uh, so back to bring it back to like I was saying earlier, like the Sean the Sean Pierre and things like that. Like when you were beginning out, like who who some of your inspirations aside from. P and like the boot camp clip. Who are some people that inspired you in making like a lot of people, man. I grew up on 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 Kane, G Rap, KRS, <laughs> Rakim. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Rakim, uh, yeah. Shout out to God, man. All the way, man. Like I, I'm I'm just a fan of hip hop, man. Uh, Scarface, fucking Nas, Redman, like you know what I mean? Mob, Onyx. You know what I mean? It's just the list just goes on, man. I'm a fan of a lot of hip hop artists, man. Word. And with the new era of hip hop, like you have any any like particulars that stand out to you right now? Well, yeah, it's like I was saying with the female with the young yeah. with the female rappers and shit, man. Definitely. Yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of um like it's it's some artists that have been out for a few years that have been doing their thing that I fucks with, man. Like Compton A V. From um, you know um, who else? Uh, Jay Stone, that um, you know he fucks with Mick, um, Nipsey Hussle and shit. Um, it's a lot of artists, man. I I be listening to shit from all over. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. You're definitely someone that appreciates the genre and music as a whole. Like you said, you listen to multiple genres, and mm -hmm. that, that's what makes an artist. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just like good music, man. Yeah, as long but, as you divide back to it, right? Yeah. So. The most, the next project coming out. What's what's the date for that? Like a, a full project. Do you have a, a date in mind? I don't, have, I, don't have a, I don't have a release date yet on the projects. Is everything still getting mixed and mastered? And um, but you know it's coming soon though. I'm dropping. I'm dropping more than one before the years up. Word. I'm gonna drop about two before before the years up. And they're gonna be they're gonna be collaborative albums or solo albums. Collaborative. Yeah. Collaborative. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always good to see you because there's always that there's always that whole aspect of competition when you're collaborating with someone. You know what I mean? Like trying to just the energy is always there. They're always fighting to be like the top lyricist on the album. So I always look forward to yeah, that's those just, albums. 
that just makes it that just makes the project even better. You know what I mean? Because both artists, both artists is on it like that, it's gonna be a good one. You know what I mean? Word. So, uh, I know that you you posted. I think there was something you posted the other day that uh, was someone uh, related to Sean P posted about your most recent joint, right? Who's what was that? I think someone had posted. Was it? I forget who it was. Was it someone from Duck Down that posted about your most recent joint? I forget what it was. I saw your post on Instagram yesterday, I think, or the day before. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. You said, uh, you said that I posted, uh, or you said somebody else posted. posted. I like, showed love to the new joint that you dropped. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have to double back and check that later. But um, you, you have any? <sighs> Bro, I, <laughs> I hate acting like a regular radio station, but you want to drop some bars for the channel? <laughs> uh, nah, I'd rather not this time. <laughs> like a lot of this shit that I, a lot of the shit that I got right now in my head is shit that, that is um, exclusive for for somebody. You know what I mean? I don't want to, you know, no, use feel, use the verse for that shit right now. I, I, you, I you, you know, I like every time I do, when I do radio or when I do some shit, I'll make up something right for them right then. You know what I mean? You know, beforehand, before the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I hear you. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. You know. I don't and, even want nobody looking back and be like, yo, he said that verse on such and such. All right. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I wouldn't want that. I, I come up with fresh shit all the Every time you hear me, you're going to hear something new. Word. That's all right. When we have you back on, I'll just, uh, we'll try to figure something out for that then. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. So you're thinking about two more projects before the end of the year, and then you have you said you have some singles you're dropping as well, right? Yeah, a lot of singles, man. I'm just um a new single just dropped um with with an artist called Magnificent. It's called Respect Me. In the video, we just finished the video. I put a, a little clip up a little while ago, like an hour ago. So you know that's it. I think that's gonna drop tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm directing videos too, man. Shout out to my man Flow Hypnotic and with his label District 22. I just shot a video for him. Um, and the song is called um damn, what's the name of the song? Um It's called it's called it's called Hey Auntie. Yeah. Yeah, that shit is shit is fire, man. So you know what I mean? I'm directing and I'm I'm featuring, you know what I mean? Sometimes I direct some shit I'm featuring on. You know what I mean? So word. Jack of all trades, bro. Yeah. You gotta know how to do everything if you're gonna keep it independent, right? It looks exactly. like you're it looks like yeah. you're in your good hands, bro. No doubt. And uh, uh I was just trying to think. I was, someone asked me to ask <laughs> on the Facebook post when I was talking about the interview, they asked to ask you if you have any, any tour stories, like wild tour stories while you've been in Canada. In Canada? Uh which shit. I don't I don't really got no wild stories. Um, the shit, the stories that I be having, I don't, I don't speak on interviews if they that fucking wild. You know, I don't even be putting shit out there. But um, but one thing I'd tell you is when we was out there with uh, with this Canada run, one of the promoters tried to get us in a fucking cabin in, in the fucking woods. And you don't, you, I don't even know how they thought that shit was going to go down from the beginning. Like, you ain't getting two black guys and taking them out the middle of fucking nowhere and sticking them in the fucking <laughs> woods with white people and shit. Like, that shit just... It ain't happening. Like, they opened the cabin. It's no electricity. None of that shit. I'm like, how the fuck you even thought this shit was going down? Like, you know what I mean? That, that's, we, went, we, went, we went and got rooms after that. But, um, oh, that's what they, they're that's, trying to put you up in the cabin? Yo, when, it, when I opened the cabin doors, it, it smelled like the air was trapped in there for 20 years. I said, what the <laughs> fuck is this? It looking like an episode of Yellow Jackets and shit. It's crazy, like yeah. If you, when you when you get killed in situations like that, it's your fucking fault because you because you went you went along with it. I I don't put myself in positions like that. You know what I mean? Like fuck, I look like what, what <laughs> city? I I don't want to know the promoter's name, but what city? What city man tried to put you up in the cabin? <laughs> that was the second. <laughs> that was the second show, man. I was like hell, fucking no. We was out of it. So someone in Montreal tried. <laughs> in a cabin? Nah, Montreal was the first one. Oh. The second one was Belleville. Oh, no, yeah. wonder, no wonder they tried to put your ass in a cabin. It's Belleville, dog. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that, shit, that shit ain't work. We, we went and got a, a good spot. <laughs> you, if you're coming down to Canada and anywhere with Ville at the end of their name, you're going to end up in a cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah, nah. I don't do that cabin in the woods shit. <laughs> no, I don't, 
Bro, I don't even do that I ain't, shit. I, I ain't trying to run in no, no, no wrong turn, motherfuckers. No, no hills have eyes type motherfuckers. <laughs> no, 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 I've been fucking video ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Fuck all of that. And uh, so the response to the, the turnout to the events in Montreal and Belleville and all that was good reaction, like good response yeah, to... Yeah. Everything was straight, man. Yeah. Word. Everybody came out, showed love, signed autographs, we shook hands, kissed babies, all type of shit. Presidential shit. <laughs> yeah. No presidents in hip hop out there kissing hip hop babies and else Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Word up. Yeah. All right, yo, man, I, I I'm like these interviews are really short and like I just try to get like an intro to the artist, which I've already known you for decades now, but to mm -hmm. have you on and have people who aren't familiar with you from like the newer generations that follow my show. So I was glad to have had you on, give them a little bit of interest. No to doubt. Delve into who Rest Rusty Jutz is, you know what I mean? And who like Sean Price considers her protege and, and the whole duck down movement and boot camp clip movement, man. So I just want to say thank you for coming on the show. I hope you can come on again. And Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, definitely chop it up, man. I'm, and whenever you have something you want to promote, if I could help in any way by just doing a short interview for you on here and doing throwing it up here up north for you, bro, anytime, just holler at me, man. You know where to find me now. And, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on. I know it's short and sweet. It somebody, could have been... Uh, said my fellow, somebody said my fellow Aquarius. For real, for real, we in the building. We got people talking about their signs and everything. Official, official one, Jamie. Word. You know the vibes, Aquarius. Yo, man, you got you got fans of all all walks of life in here. You got you got signs coming out. You got people talking about <laughs> decades ago. Yeah. You got people talking about now. It's crazy, bro. I love to see it though, and I love to see that you're still doing your thing, man. You're consistent. You're still dropping raw verses every time you drop one. And mm -hmm. uh, so, just shout out to you for being on Car Chats for episode seventy eight, man. I'm glad you could have came on. Uh, it's episode no sponsored. My guy, uh, Diamonds Rising. Bro, if you're interested in any of this type of merch, let me know, and I'll get a pack sent to you through my guy. All right, yeah, definitely do that. I hit you. I, um, just direct message me. Yeah, you already know. So we'll chop it up about that. So shout out my guy that does sponsor the show. Uh, he's out in Hobbs, New Mexico. It's uh, his brand right here, Diamonds Rising. If you're ever out that way and need video work, he's another guy you could hit up about that too so I'll, I'll link you guys up and he'll take care of the package for you and stuff but bro thank you for coming on man thank you for giving me so your much. time i know you're a busy dude and uh hopefully we can chop it up again soon when your next drop comes man all right back man somebody said they wanted to get me on the show just hit me up you know what i mean direct message or, or, or hit the email hardbodyhiphop at gmail word Facts, you know what i mean and um salute to everybody that's been rocking with me everybody that tuned in right now Enough respect and have a great night, man. Thanks for having me on the show. No I doubt. wish you the best with this shit too, man. Respect. Thanks, and if you're not following my man, I'll follow him because most of y'all are already. But if you're not following me, hit me with a follow. I'm trying to build this page up. And I no appreciate doubt. you coming on again, my G. And I hope we can chop it up again soon. Salute. Respect, man. Salute. Peace.